Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where today I'm going to be giving you an update as to where I've been all week because I have not been putting videos up, and I'm sure you've noticed. Also, we're going to be going over a bunch of the kind of future of all of this here because for those of you who don't know, things are changing here. Okay. First off, new glasses. I pick them up in the vlog that'll be coming out later this week. So you'll, I don't know if picking up the glasses is more exciting than wearing the glasses. I don't fucking know, but that'll be a thing. Okay. So let me go down the list of things here. First off on my weight loss journey, I have lost 26. As of today, I've lost 26 pounds since March 1st and today is April 24th so this is I'm tied at the lowest weight I've been in the modern era of my life fingers crossed that I break that tomorrow I was really hoping I was going to do it today but this dumb motherfucker had McDonald's yesterday so I knew that wasn't going to fucking happen. But there, there's always there's always hope. There's always hope. Okay. Now, one of the things that come with this, um, and I don't know if this is a thing that happens because of this, I am drinking a lot less. And not because I'm cutting back my drinking so I could lose weight, but because I'm... Um, getting drunk super fast now and my hangovers are um a lot more heavy for doing very little so for instance um i had two of those tall cans of beer um this was like maybe two weeks ago <laughs> Oh my god, this is so fucking funny. So I had two beers, and um, the next morning had, like, the worst, like, headache hangover that I've had in, I don't know. So then I didn't drink for a couple days, because that freaked me out. And then I had a glass of red wine in the shower. That night, I started feeling like shit. And the next day... I woke up with another fucking hangover. That is brand new in my life. That used to never happen. But you know, since then, I've had a bottle of wine and um, had some beers, varying results. But I'm very sluggish. I'm very sluggish. Um, I guess that just means I'm gonna just kind of cut back a little bit on just normal health shit. I'm doing this thing where I'm getting all sorts of things done because of what I'm going to share in a little bit. Like, I was like, maybe my kidney and my liver are fucked up and all this other shit. And, um, no, like, they're, they're fine. My cholesterol is actually down. And it, it wasn't high before, but now it's lower. So that's interesting. That is one thing that's going on. The next thing that's going on is I got, like, as you know... <laughs> As you know, since the beginning of this year, I have been trying to either cut back my smoking to where I'm like not really doing it or just quit completely. Everything I've tried hasn't been super successful. And especially since I'm trying to like lose a bunch of weight right now, the last thing I want to do is like stop smoking and go, oh, I should definitely be filling my face full of food. Like I, I was on the patches and the nicotine gums. I've done the nicotine toothpicks. I've done the lozenges and nothing has been working well. Now, my doctor put me on this shit called Chantix and I'm, I know that there's gonna be like at least five of you who are going, no, 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 don't take that, don't take that. It's really bad because blah, blah, blah. I don't know, whatever. I started it yesterday. Okay, so this is like a brand new thing, and you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. I don't know if this is what it's supposed to do, and maybe I just like took it on an empty stomach or something, I don't know, but I took it, and it's like, you know, you you keep smoking through your quit date while taking these pills. I started to feel like 
fucking garbage after smoking while taking that. I don't know if it's a psychosomatic thing. If it is, don't tell me. Let me think that these magic pills are making me sick when I have a cigarette. That is happening. And so I'm on the starter doses right now for I think three days. And then I move on to morning and night. And then after a week of that, I move on to like heavy duty shit. Tour update. There is no tour anymore. Really bummed out about it. But I'm also in a point where I'm like, at least this is a thing. Because um, basically a couple of the dates that um, I had for the tour kind of fell through that were kind of the bigger dates. And it got to the point where it was going to be really difficult for me to be able to just cover the cost of the trip let alone make anything. I mean, I like hopefully would sell a shit ton of books, but between losing dates and having to pay my taxes, it was uh, safer for me to just not do it instead of like doing it and then halfway through like being really fucking hard up. Why is this happening right now? It's like, oh, here's a trash truck. Here's another trash truck. Here's another trash truck. I'm super bummed out about it, but I feel good in the sense that it's probably the more mature grown-up thing to do, which is something I am definitely not fucking good at accepting. Normally, I'm like, oh, I'll just do whatever the fuck I want and shit will work out, right? Like, that's usually my mentality but this time I tried to <laughs> it was funny I was like okay what would I do in this situation okay what would everyone else I know do in this situation and that is kind of where I was like oh yeah okay so now that I'm um way more mature than I was five minutes ago I'm gonna like totally destroy that whole image now so the next thing again like members already knew about the tour thing i'm pretty sure um, i talked about little bits of it in there members know probably a lot more about this next bit i'm going to share with you guys and i've talked about this on podcasts before too i'm actually going to be going abroad for um, an indefinite amount of time, just kind of traveling, doing like the whole poetic nomad thing, if that's even a fucking thing. But uh, like a lot of you know that I have been very uh, tired of LA. I love LA, but I'm fucking tired of it. I need something new to look at. And there's a lot of places that I've always wanted to go that I've never been to. Now is the time for me to go do those things and work on that novel and see shit. I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna be vlogging a lot about this, so I think what I'm gonna do is surprise everybody with where I'm gonna be. And it's gonna be a thing where it's like, where in the world is Matgen Sandy Walgo? I don't think that landed. But, um, so I'll give you a list of places that I would like to go to. I would like to be going through Central America into South America and do the Caribbean as well. So that's one thing. Uh, Turks and Caicos, am I right? And then, like, more Mediterranean places that I want to go to. Mainly the Maldives. I want to be in the Maldives so fucking bad. But just, like, Portugal, Spain, Italy, um, that whole area. And then Greece and the Maldives and shit like that. And then also Southeast Asia. So Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. I don't know. Like, I feel stupid for not wanting to go to Japan. And if I'm going to be in that neck of the woods, like, you might as well just fucking go. So maybe that. I'm going to have a very loose itinerary. The idea right now, and this could change at any fucking moment, but the idea right now is to at least spend a month in every place that I want to be at. Like, just, like, have the area speak to me and see what goes on, how I feel, the whole deal. I've been studying languages. 
um, in my spare time as well, trying to um, brush up on a bunch of shit. So I, I don't think I'm going to tell you guys when or where I'm going. I think I'm going to make it a surprise for you. Members will know anyway, but for everybody else, um, that's how that's going to go. Now, with that said, the way I do the chat books and everything like that is going to be completely different. The way I do the membership stuff on here is going to be totally different. And we've talked a little bit about this before, but I think I'm going to do like some more members kind of shit on my website as well. So um, that's how all that's going to go. It takes me a while to do things, to get things started. Once things are started, I'm a fucking bull on fire falling off of a building. I don't know if that's a saying, but it is now. And um, But getting everything going, like that takes me forever because I really hate change. Um, but for someone who hates change, I'm changing a lot. So there you go. So other stuff that's going to be coming up, I'm going to be doing a comment video, probably put that up tomorrow. I have a vlog to put up. And then I also did a video called uh, how long, I don't know exactly what I'm going to call it, but it was basically me seeing how long $100 lasts in Los Angeles. Because I, I bitch about how expensive shit here is all the fucking time, but like, I don't think I've given anybody like hard shit with all that said everybody type hard thank you for your ongoing support um kisses oh and i should probably do a 2000 sub q a thank you guys for that yeah we'll, we'll we'll do something for that so i will talk to you all later just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible anarchy crew and my followers on patreon i appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible you guys are awesome and if you'd like to join the crew of the anarchy crew just hit the join button beneath this video and if you'd like to become a member of my patreon you can run over to the link down below to do that as well thank you